Okay, so today's video is actually fitting the Venturi intake to a Mini F56 JCW. It's going to be similar instructions for a Cooper S as well. So you can see laid out in front of you is everything from the kit. And all I've added to that is a 10mm socket and a torque screwdriver. So this is actually a T20. Hopefully that's everything we need. If there's anything else, we'll introduce it during the video. Okay, so first of all, we've got two 10mm bolts that we're going to remove. Just get them undone. And that's just removing this stock intake. Just one bolt out. That's two bolts, put them safely to the side. Okay, so next is releasing that clip down there and then also disconnecting the math sensor. So to do that, it's literally just a little pull pin there that you just pull out slightly and then release that from the car. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is actually undo this seven mil. So that's an extra socket that we needed. So an seven mil there. Okay, so that's nice and loose. Next, we've got another 10 mil socket over here. They're just on this right hand side down here. This is all to get the stock air box out. Okay, so now those bits are undone, this should be able to just lift out of the car, so let's give it a go. Most of it's coming out. Let's remove this. That's that one done. Now what we've got to do is disconnect that hose there, and the whole thing should now lift out. Okay, so the next step of the process is to actually remove the math sensor. So let's get that disconnected. That's one screw out. screws out so one thing to note with the math sensor is there's an arrow pointing into there that's where the airflow is going so we need to make sure when we install it on the Venturi that it goes the same way and that should pull out there you go and that's out of that okay so your next step is to actually insert the math sensor Make sure it goes in the right direction, into here. You see there's a little rubber seal, so... Let's just make sure that rubber seal is seated correctly. It is. Let's press that in. So it takes a bit of work, but there you go. That's in. So you're making sure there's like a little band around here, the thinner band, as opposed to the thicker band here. So the flow will be going that way. So just making sure you get that into the right direction. And then you use the su new supplied screws. So you don't use the ones that you've taken out of the stock airbox. You actually use the new ones, which are the same torque size, but slightly shorter to go into there. Okay, so off camera there, we've just inserted the supplied screws. So they actually come with the kit. And like I say, they're a little shorter than the standard ones and a different type of thread. both of those done up. Okay, so our next step is actually fitting in the coupler. So we've got the logo facing the camera. We're gonna loosen this off. So just use a seven mil socket to do that. 
so that we can get the rubber over the top of this. Okay, so that's on. Then we need to get a MAF housing on and we need to make sure the arrow is pointing towards the engine. So that's got to insert into there. So again, we're going to want to loosen this off for seven mil. And it's the end with the thicker uh, gap around. Don't forget the airflow is going this way, out towards the engine. To start from one side and work that in. A little bit tricky, but. It may help with some washing up liquid to get this in, so we'll use that if this doesn't work. There you go. Bit of persistence and that pops in. So we want it, rotate it round. So if the logo's here, we want it on this side. Slightly. There is some adjustability on that obviously. And what we'll need to do is loosen this 7mm off again. A little bit more. And raise that up. Tighten that one off. Okay, so that's nice and tight now. Clamp it on. Yep, it looks perfect. Okay, so the next bit is actually fitting. Uh, the front air intake so we're using these same threaded bits and there's actually little holes on the bottom of this and all they do is they slot on top of there let's insert that and that's in place we're not going to secure these yet and that's a key point to remember because you're going to need some movement in this so let's not secure this down yet okay so one thing to note you've got this rubber bung on the bottom of the air filter that rubber bung in a minute, when we say we insert it into the car, I'll show you where. So if you see here, this white rubber bung, that's where that black one is gonna insert when we put the air filter onto the car. It's gonna be tricky uh, with no one else to hold the camera for me to show you that. So I thought I'd show you that before we do it. Okay, another step we need to do before fitting the new air filter is just remove this bolt here at the bottom of the battery box. So that's going to be used to fit the new air filter and bolt that in place. We need to remove that and then we'll need that again in five minutes. That's that out. Next, let's bring the air filter in. Slide it onto there first. Then remember that bung I showed you? That. We'll actually press into that so we need to line all these bits up okay so we need to line these up and this this here this seal just presses against it doesn't go inside it just presses against so I've just double checked the instructions and it is literally just a point of pressing against so swap that back on its holders Okay, and we'll be able to adjust that in a minute. There we go. Okay, so the next step is to use this 13mm bolt here. 
and it's just to reattach this bracket. All right, so make sure you don't hit that like I've just done. It might be worth to doing that by hand. just to give it a final tighten up. Okay, so that's nice and tight. Okay, so next we're going to go in with our 7mm socket and just get these Jubilee clips done up. That's one. We're happy with that, we did that up earlier off the car. So now, that should be sealed, that's sealed and that's sealed, so that's all in place. You need to reconnect your math sensor. Okay, we'll work out what we do with that in a second. Let's just slide that down for now, just keep it out of the way for a minute. got that done up, math sensor's reconnected. Okay, so next, take your two 10 mil bolts and put them on the threaded section in here and get that done up. That will hold this in place. Start them by hand. Then finish them off with the ratchet. Second one in. Let's get that done up. Okay, so our next step is to actually clean off here. So we're doing the bonnet scoop. And there's two rubber strips that fit here and here. So you're just using some panel prep. Spray it on the cloth. And just give this area underneath this circle a good clean. Just so we know there's no grease, grime stopping that rubber strip from sticking. And what that rubber strip will do is actually protect the carbon intake that you've just fitted so it doesn't get it marked from the bonnet. Okay, next, take the actual rubber strips themselves, peel the tape off the back, and then all we're doing is center, centralizing them on that circle there, and sticking that in place. And we'll do the same on this side. So again, peel the rubber strips off, it roughly centered with that hole and get it stuck to the underside of the bonnet okay so now we have to take the stock bonnet scoop off so the first thing to do is use your Torx T20 and undo this screw whatever you do don't drop this into the engine bay or into the bonnet I know it's a bit awkward showing on camera but I don't want to drop that anywhere get that out okay and then the back is actually held on by six little plastic clips um, so we'll work out the best process for removing those 
Okay, so the new scoop actually comes with replacement clips, so you don't have to try and save these. So the easiest way I found was taking these long nose pliers, putting them in the gap, you'll be able to see the white clip. And actually squeezing that and just compressing it until that clip breaks. And hopefully, That end's now lifting out. There you go, give it a bit of a push. Now it comes. So you can see on the back of here, these are the clips that we were just doing. So you can see I've just compressed a couple of those. A couple are probably still on the bonnet, we'll just need to pop those out. Okay, next step is just to insert the supplied clips. So you get brand new clips with this bonnet, uh, bonnet scoop, so you don't have to worry too much about saving the stock ones which is good news and they're just really easy they just slot into place I have to say the uh, this is one of the, uh, the the better bonnet scoops I've seen from different suppliers so the leak ones are good and um, this one's really nice it's got all the OEM fittings and uses all the OEM clips so that's nice as well in the instructions it does say to check that there's not a bolt already pre-installed in this when it comes from um, Eventuri, so just make sure that's not in there. If it is, it says to remove it, so I thought I'd share that step with you because it's quite clear in the instructions. Now this is ready to go onto the car. Okay, so with your clips in place, you should be able to insert that onto the car. So it's really easy to line up all those screw holes. You know what we do? Press that into place. that's fitted that's a really nice fit to the bonnet so what we'll do we'll pop that bonnet again and then we just need to do the screw on the underside so let's lift that up you can see the underside now you can see these are the intakes so these actually fit onto the intakes on the lower part that we installed earlier and then all we do be careful not to drop that screw return that stock screw so that's the one that you use is attached to the, the stock one and there you go that's nicely secured okay so you can now see the Venturi is fully installed so we've obviously got the intake so this takes from two places it takes from behind the grill and up and it also takes from the bonnet scoop that we've just fitted then you come through that feeds it into the reversed inverted air filter that's in there You've got the math sensor installed, so that's all nicely done. Obviously, this is the lower bolt we were talking about that you have to do up, and that's where it presses into the bung. So that's all nicely installed, perfect. Then from underneath, you can see this is where the air is actually fed through from the bonnet scoop to the car. This fits nicely. There are your rubber strips, so don't forget to fit those so that your bonnet doesn't touch your uh, lower. And then you can see there, that fit on that bonnet scoop is really well. And if you look, if I put my fingers through, you can see there that's where the air comes through. You can see there's a nice lip on that bonnet scoop. Bring that air in.